What's up, guys? Um, Monday came in. Monday came in on my days off. Came in on my days off. Uh, that's what happens when you love what you do, right? So today came in and it was a maintenance day. I basically just wanted to come in here and do a bunch of different maintenance on a lot of different things. Got a lot of little projects going on right now, and kind of need to wrap things up. And I didn't, I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. But maybe I can chip away at it a little bit tomorrow. I did get quite a bit uh, accomplished today, even though that we're closed. And uh, kind of questioning whether or not I should be open on Mondays or not, because it was quite a few people that kind of came towards the door and then realized we were closed. Um, so kind of questioning that a little bit at the moment. But we did some maintenance on the fresh water tanks. Some water changes, some scrubbing. I got about halfway through. You can kind of see where I left off is some stuff growing on the glass here. But I'm going to get set up to do a little bit more tomorrow morning. And then uh, we'll work our way down here because there's some tanks that have had fish in there since the beginning and they're pretty, pretty grody right now. Uh, but I, I feel like with the current setup that I was using today, uh, which worked pretty good. I was able to get a lot done. Uh, these tanks with the lights off They do not have fish. So we are going uh, to go black for a little bit and Let them kind of just settle down and then see how things go um, but yeah Good quite a bit of fresh water maintenance. Uh, we were also working on filling up the saltwater and uh, RO reservoir tanks and then last but not least we came in and started working on some phytoplankton because uh, our cultures that we've been working on are like at the point where they they need stuff done to them. I let the two species of phytoplankton that were on the quarantine rack kind of go a little bit long and I literally did something that I've never done before with culturing phytoplankton. So I basically went from these 16 ounce bottle, look how dark that is. It's even evaporating. That's condensed right there. Literally took two of those and one for one. So one of those went into a three liter and the other one got a three liter as well. Uh, pretty crazy. So, and that's even like still pretty dark like I could sell that that's sellable right now but we're gonna let that go a little bit more um, this is two different species of phytoplankton which is not advisable to have them that close together because cells like to jump especially when you're pushing water through them or air through them um, so we're probably gonna have to pick up a couple more of these lights for tomorrow I'm gonna take these two cultures and I'm probably gonna also buy some more racking and set up next to them over here. Um, also the cultures, the last cultures that I split are already ready to go. And then the ISO phyto point, look how dark that is. That's light, so that's probably not doing too well at this point. Oops, I lost my finger. I was looking at the phyto. So this is lightening up, which isn't a good sign. That's pretty dark, so we should be able to upgrade to three liters. So I've bought in a bunch of soda, and I am not a soda drinker, so we're we're dumping it out. I need the bottles. I don't drink soda, so I drink Monster. I drink a lot of Monster. I think, look at that. It's a lot of Monster. But yeah, so we've been working on the phytoplankton. I kind of wanted to get through all of it tonight. It's not going to happen. Um, I got the... RO Reservoir. I'm going to finish up with that. I'm going to fill up this barrel so we can do some more fresh water maintenance for tomorrow. Do some more water changes. And yeah, we got some deliveries coming in this week. We'll probably do some, some videos basically showing what I'm getting in because I am getting in probably one of the largest coral orders yet. And there is a coral in there that I have never kept. And some refer to it as the Holy Grail. So we're gonna have 
some pretty crazy corals in. I got a lot of scolies coming in. Um, I got some big old lobos coming in, some frog spawn, some pretty crazy stuff. Um, and we also have an order uh, from Worldwide Corals coming in. We have an order from Eye Catching Coral coming in. We have um, and two other vendors as well. So lots and lots of corals coming in this week. Um, freshwater fish. I think there's a couple things that we're re-upping on, but a lot of that stuff's going to land in the quarantine tanks and um, saltwater fish. I got to test the quarantine. Ah, that was the other thing I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to test quarantine tanks I got a lot to do all right guys I can't really chat too long tonight but probably gonna do uh, a unveiling of the Acropora that I talked about a couple of videos ago my absolute favorite we're going to be adding it to the water box I'm taking coral from the tanks I'm doing it gotta keep some stuff for me too oh one more thing look at that Monipora look at it would you look at it it is doing some crazy, crazy stuff. I did have a little bit of a mishap where you can see a little bit of like slime here on the edge. It fell on top of this mushroom right here and we did some chemical warfare last night. Um, so I gotta get that. If I'm gonna have this in the tank, I need to mount it up. But the max spec jump lights, like even though my spectrum is all jacked up, I got 15K, I got 20K, I'm gonna call it 15K, 10K. In reality, at least to my eyes, the coloration on that Monipora is unreal. And I think I'm going to change the name of that Monipora. By gosh, if Worldwide Corals can name their corals whatever they want, I'm naming a coral the first coral for Corals Unlimited. And that is going to be Mad Hatter's Cap. There it is. I can do that. I did it just now. Mad Hatter's Cap. We got some for sale. If you want some Mad Hatter's cap, there's still some in the bin. Uh, but that piece is probably going to stay in the water box. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow right here with a brand new video. Peace.